Hey, so this is Alex again uh, with the uh, Rohoptix robot pet cart. Um, just uh, madly trying to get it shipped out uh, to you guys at competition. But in any event, I uh, just want to go through the feature list of it real quick. Um, so because of the info, input that you guys gave on the project space, we got a, a couple of things that got added to it um, to really try and make it more functional to you guys this year and hopefully in future years as well. So. The first one, which is the core, obviously, is just the fact that it's a lifting cart. So this cart, mostly chosen because of its size, actually does have a lifting capacity of 1,000 pounds. So it's going to be a while before you guys make a robot that will probably outdo this piston. The lifting height on this totally gets up to workable height for uh, people to uh, actually service the bots and test run them and do all that type of activity. It gets up to about here or so. This platform up here, we actually put on there so that uh, you guys could do that test running as you talked about where the wheels will be able to freewheel. This is about three inches up where the model that you guys sent us showed it is your wheel uh, clearance having about two and a half inches thereabout. So uh, you should be able to freewheel and test run the robot on that stand. It's actually bolted to the platform so that in future years when you're talking about the bots changing, putting like a wheel in the center of the bot, you guys can unbolt it make your own stand to it and bolt it back to the hard points so that whatever your bot becomes, you can still use the cart in that fashion. Along similar lines to that, <coughs> you guys had mentioned that you wanted to have spare room for your batteries. So you've got uh, a case in here that will hold, uh, you know, certainly the two batteries that re you required, uh, probably up to about five of them by the dimensions, or you can fill the rest of it with additional gear and whatnot. But one of the things that we uh, we decided we wanted to do on this cart, because you were saying that your kit changes every year and the tech changes every year, is that we wanted even the storage space to be configurable as much as possible so that as your loadout changed, you could adapt with that. So I got you started with this, but one of the things that we did was we had uh, a Molly pattern, which if you're not familiar with Molly, is the, uh, the sort of a universal uh, hard point system that you use on tactical gear so that you can have pouches and like different types of equipment and bed kits and you can configure them all how you want on like uh, you know an armor carrier or on a backpack or whatever so what we did is we have a pattern that we used on the uh, rapid equipping force project to uh, actually put it into plate steel so we put that all over your battery holder uh, wherever possible so that when you guys want to reconfigure or get different cases for tools that are the like or supplies, electrical, things like that, all you gotta do is search within tactical gear and anything that you can find in tactical gear that works with Molly, now you can fasten to the side of your cart. Um, obviously, uh, it's got still the functionality of being able to uh, raise and lower it. Um, one of the, the final things, just a small thing that we did was we switched the, uh, the handle around the pivots, the way the pivots work on the handle. So now actually, when you, instead of folding the handle forward, which is the original configuration for the cart, you now fold it back just because you guys had talked about how it was convenient on the wagon configuration to be able to stand out from it and get that extra leverage to direct it. So now you can tilt this thing actually back towards you instead of down onto the cart because there's a box there now. And that'll give you that added leverage to kind of like work the directional wheels and things like that. So as you're going over wires, you can pull it as well as push it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the features on the cart. Hopefully it'll be flexible and useful for you guys. And uh, I will uh, look forward to seeing how it works out.